Keyamo, the senior advocate of Nigeria, junior minister of labor and employment and director of public affairs of the All Progressive Congress APC, have come again this time. Oh, he is now saying that security agencies in Nigeria should place P2B on a watch list. I don't know which watch list is it watching him that is a terrorist or watching him that is a drug dealer or watching him that um, he is fighting against Nigerian state for treasonable felony which they always use or whatever. I don't know what <laughs> the watch list will be. You will hear it yourself from Festus Keyamo. Before we tell you his reason, his thinking, why this should happen, please kindly like this video. It will make YouTube to just recommend it to more persons. Also, share it among your friends and contacts. And if you are coming across our channel for the first time, do kindly subscribe, please. For our returning subscribers, we are happy to see you back. First to Skeyamo. Yes, he is on the news again, and um, he reacted. He was reacting to calls by the Labour Party asking security agencies to place him, Keyamo, on a terror watch list. He said instead that it is the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. P. Toby, who must be watch listed. His words is that I call on security agencies in Nigeria to place Mr. P. Toby and some of his demented supporters on the terror watch list for circulating an incendiary video with a fake message by one of his supporters called Powell Glad Legbe on his Facebook page calling on Yorubas not to vote for P. Toby. Mr. Pito B. then wrongly and wickedly attributed that quote to an amorphous Tinubu group. Up till now, he has not withdrawn his accusation, nor has he apologized to our candidate as Siwaju Bola made the Tinubu. It's obvious Mr. B. wants to cause religious and tribal crisis in the country, and for this, I call on security agencies to place Mr. B on security watch or invite him for a thorough investigation. If necessary, I am prepared to be invited too as a witness to prove my case against him, Kayamo stated. Okay. I'm wondering why he's waiting for the security agencies to place him on watch list if he has evidence and he's ready to testify as a witness. What he should do is simply to take Obi to court so that he can prove that case in the court and get Obi punished. He is going round to use security agencies instead of what, doing what he's supposed to do as a lawyer, as a senior advocate of Nigeria. In all, with all due respect, I, I am, yeah, I don't know how to say this, but Festus Keyamo, I he speaks like someone in, the, in in you know in the street, a gutter person, you know. Some languages you hear from these people, you will be totally disappointed because they are calling it politics. You cannot call supporters of any party whatsoever demented supporters. It is below the language somebody who is official of, of, of a government, a junior minister. You are calling supporters of another party, demented supporters. It is like what agberos or touts or hoodlums we use to talk to people. Nothing stops you from saying that the supporters of P2B uh, I mean, uncivil, uncivilized, that they are better using the word demented, crazy, people with warped thinking, their heads are not correct. It is 
these languages is they they are very incendiary and that's what causes is going to attract a, a toxic response from the supporters when you call them demented they're going to call you names and then it goes on and on and on and on and on and demented the word demented and supporters have not doesn't add any value to the political campaign to the discourse, to the issues affecting common Nigerians and even those who are privileged. Yes. So, speaking a, a normal, a decent language worthy of your position, you're a senior advocate of Nigeria, you're a junior minister in the current government, and you're giving opportunity to serve in the campaign organization of a, another presidential candidate. And this is the kind of language you will use. The demented supporters of Peter will be actually better than you. Okay? Because these are common folks who are not privileged to be a, a minister in a government, who are not privileged to be senior advocate of Nigeria. Some of them are the highest education they have is a school certificate or secondary school. Some are graduates, of course, but some may not even have any education. And you descend so low to speak in their language, which means if they had your kind of education and opportunity, they are better than you. So this kind of languages going on here and there is very, very unfortunate these politicians so-called they have not learned to play politics the way it should be in the uk they just had um, a new uh, prime minister elected it was a tough contest you always hear them talking on issues what they're going to do about energy costs what they're going to do about the image of uk how they will improve the citizenry even a nigerian was in the contest and she did well she ended up, I believe, the fourth person before she was dropped out. And now she even an official, a minister in the government. They didn't use these languages on the supporters of the opposite divide. What makes you to come down and start calling supporters demented? Uh, the other video we made, you were calling an American, Jeffrey Guterman. That is interfering in internal affairs of Nigeria by supporting P2B. You guys are just obsessed with the personality of P2B or his supporters or what he's doing. But coming out to offer solutions to Nigerian problems, which will tilt people, even supporters of P2B, to begin to support your own candidate. You people are not doing it. When you are calling them demented, how can they ever come over and do? Maybe join your All Progressive Congress or vote for Bola Ahmed Tinubu. So your language is very despicable, unfortunate, and you have completely made yourself uh, a tout. You know, you speak like one, and that is what you should be called. Whatever you get from them, you have to accept it because you put yourself in the position to be insulted if eventually that happens. This is how we will take on this and we ask you please to like, share and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in our next video. Remain blessed.